All right, guys, welcome back to the multiplayer series. I'm alone. The odds are stacked against me still. I'm still struggling to survive. But things start to look up in this video, and I think you guys are going to like what you see because I start to actually gain a foothold on the server. I'm doing some pretty sneaky tactics and trying to evade the enemy, and things are actually looking up. And uh, the next episode after this, the guys join me. Some really awesome PvP action happens, and some hilarious stalking action ensues. So make sure to uh, check back next time as well. Thanks for watching. Let's get right into the gameplay. Because they have so much stuff, and so, you know, they have like everything. Come on, zombies. Let's do this quicker. Vertical grip. Bed, nice. I'll take that. Military bullets. That's freaking it? Are you kidding me right now? Man, I'm getting like the worst military drops ever. They find a rucksack and a backpack, and I find that? Like, come on. Put those on. Drop that. Ah, gotta race to the military base. I'm getting a... Oh, someone's already here, I think. Getting a ton of XP. Come on, zombie. Goodness. We're gonna scout. Before we go in, I don't think that's a Jacko's police car. Although last time he drove around in the back, he drove around behind. So we'll go check the back here. See if he's back here. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, we still got zombies in there. Yeah, I think he might be in Confederation Bridge, maybe. Looks clear. For the most part. Soka. Alright. Ah. Uh. What about building, like, right here? Don't want them to see it from the tower, though. And not many people go back here. I'm gonna build it right here. Like, right here. So I'm gonna put my bed down behind this tree. Put this down right here. Like, glitched into the tree. I think I can do it. Maybe not. Right there. Claim that. Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll, actually I'll do this too. I want that, drop that, drop that. Um, drop this for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, let's hope no one's here. NVGs. I'll just take them to have them. Don't know where that shot's coming from. I think those are silent shots at least. Take those instead. Use this. What is that? Army fatigues. Nice. We're getting greened out. Keep this thing out. Hope for headshots. Nothing. Let's go bring his zombies. Not being very quick about this. I would be totally fine with this entire trip if I could find a, a bigger back, a bigger backpack, and a scope of some kind for my outfield. Fragnade, nice. Put that up there. Uh, 
Okay, here comes the tricky part. Going across. Purification tabs. I dispatch these zombies first. Oh, that's why I don't like doing power swings, because I miss sometimes. Thought I saw somebody. I could easily do it just by jumping up there, but I don't want to do it. Car jack's connected. Oh, gosh, dang it. I get for watching the side. Oh, I hate the ones that don't make any noise. Just trying to get as much. Oh crap! Get as much health as I can. I should put on the the MVGs too. They provide armor as well. Anything, please. Nothing. Dang it. Okay, at least I know no one's coming yet, because there's still zombies on the road there. Unless they come from Berrywood. Okay, one more tower. Oh, yeah. Antibiotic sweet. That's nice. Okay, here we go. Should kill these. The XP. Ah! That's why I don't do that, man. I hate that. Cause I miss a lot. I miss. It's my fault. I'm not that great at it. Watch Carjacks come and kill me the same way that I killed him. that claims a life and we're out almost okay jackal came in the backside last time I put it right here hopefully I remember that's there <laughs> Because anybody who should go around that corner should uh, trigger it. Okay, so what do we get? Four antibiotics and a frag grenade. What a bummer. Let's make a chest. Put this stuff in. Start making a base, I guess. We got a canteen. Like That's pretty much what matters the most at this point. Because, like... Uh, food and drink, like we can come by food. Although I don't have, I, I lost my pickaxe because it's in the chest over there. Hmm. Let's see here. Gas can, bonjour. Don't need that right now. All right, let's let's start doing this. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it right back here. Well, guys, um, I, I know that this is the multiplayer series, but uh, honestly, I hope you guys are fine with this because I pretty much have no choice at this point because my team is gone. I've been abandoned by Turtle. <gasps> Turtle abandoned me. If I, I need to get a saw. I should really check the... Con I'm going to make a chest first, and then I'm going to go check for a handsaw at the construction site in Berrywood. And you guys wanted to see me do more exploration and stuff, and I've definitely done a ton so far. In all these episodes been really busy very very busy okay just need two of those make a frame and okay, we need to get a lot more sticks I hate not having a handsaw this is this is like one of the biggest struggles ever in this game not having a handsaw Oh, where have all the hand saws gone? I found a ton though, like before, when we first started the server. Like a ton. Uh, 
There's two. I'm started to craft on the go, like I craft as I'm doing stuff. It just is way better and sometimes it like actually helps your weight and how much you're carrying. Man, so many freaking logs like this, crazy. It's good though. Hopefully I can find a handsaw and come back and make use of this. Branch, nice. Oops. Oops. Okay, so we got enough for a crate. Now we just need three more for a chest. Yeah, if you guys still are watching, you know, thanks, thanks for sticking through this with me and seeing my struggle and starting out this uh, fresh on this new server. Things are definitely tough in the streets. Thought I could I could have swore I just saw somebody. Nope. Sweet, got a chest. We're good to go. So I'm not gonna put this in the exact same location as my bed. Where's my bed over there? Put this right here. Right there. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and put the lever action in there. Put these military bullets in there. Put this. I need to go find food. Put this axe in there. Put that up there. Put that in there. Drop that. And keep that. Okay. And we'll put that in there, just in case we lose the canteen. Okay, going good so far. Be nice to find that, get a pickaxe and start and get some meat. Although we don't really necessarily have the uh, arsenal to go hunting right now. I mean, we do with the lever, but I mean, we still got to get so freaking close to that lever action. It's crazy how close you have to get. Yeah, my bed's right there, okay. Can't oh car. Oh come on, trip mine. Oh <gasps> somebody died. Somebody blew up on the on it. I saw you, bro. What's up? What can you do? What can you do right here? Can't do anything. I'm taking your stuff. What's up, bro? Take that meat. What's up? How you gonna drink with no canteen, sucker? How you gonna drink with no canteen, Carjax? How you gonna drink? I'll eat your meat. Payback time, bro. <laughs> So what's he got? He's got a uh, some kind of Pro 90 or something. Let's see if he follows me to Berrywood. Man, I wish I would have checked that earlier. Okay, so I just stole military sieve. That's good to have that. Canteen, good to have that. Civilian NVGs, canned beans. Nice. Totally just robbed him. Our trap worked. It's so freaking epic. There he is right there. wait to see what he does maybe he'll leave unless of course he finds my chest and stuff then I'm gonna be there he is then we're gonna have problems hide and seek bro drive away There he goes, there he goes. And 
Nice. Successful steal. Question is, how did he get back so fast? He's driving up on that mountain. You know what I mean? Like, how did he get back here so fast if he died? It's very interesting. Well, secure so far. We've started what we can. Very, very fundamental things. I'm taking this out, putting that in, putting this in. Canned beans. I don't really need this. I'm going to hoof it. Oh, canteen. Nice. That was huge. Stealing his canteen. <laughs> Sucker. Um, we'll drop this. Actually, I don't want to drop it that close to my, my chest. Alright, we'll just we'll drop it randomly right here. There's no there's no base or anything. There's no construction. So it just looks like it's just a bunch of trees cut down. It doesn't look like anything. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like a single thing. Okay. We'll wait for our food to get up a little bit more. All right, let's go check berry wood because we need to find a uh, we need to find a saw. <laughs> okay. I don't know who this is right in front of me here, but I'm acting. He has a Matamoris. Or is that a Zub? I think that's a Matamoris. Whoever it is is an Alice. Who's online right now? I think it's Carjax. Who is it? Yeah, nice Matamoris. Oh no, it's a. It's an outfield. So we'll play AFK here and see what he does. I want to keep tabs on him, but I want I don't want to uh I'm kind of upset that he saw what I have. I didn't want him to see what I had. Like, are they building up here? Like, who freaking drives up on this mountain? We get a lot of skills to put in. Warriors, survival, endurance. Do we do immunity or marksman? Probably marksman and endurance. Okay. Hey, look at him. He's looking. He's looking for me. Let's see what he does. If he goes inside the military complex or not. If he's just trying to find my stuff. Do you think he? Had, I think he thinks I have a base down here. If he breaks that chest, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, look at him. Up on top of the hill. Still looking around. He's gonna find he's gonna find the trees I cut down. It's just a matter of whether or not he'll find my my other stuff. Maybe he's scouting to try to go inside. No, he's definitely looking for my stuff. Yeah, look at him. He's looking around. Question is, did I hide it good enough? There he is. I think he's scanning. Little does he know I'm back here. Stalking. This is epic. I'm just like stalking him. It looks like it's not been looted because there's zombies in there. 
Nah, that's awesome. He didn't find my stuff. It's freaking epic. Well hidden. Well, as best as I can. He's still looking, though. He's looking for a base of all those trees that were cut down. Still going up the hill. Yeah, he's definitely looking for where I put his stuff. Or he's looking for me or something. I don't know exactly what he's doing. But good thing I hid that behind that tree like that. As well as the bed. Like, it would be better if... I don't know what would actually stick out more. Because white can look like the flowers. Blue is obviously unmistakable. Is he running backwards? I can't tell. The only difference between him and I is that I don't have force armor and he does. No, he's looking in Berrywood right now. He's trying to find where I went. Okay, I think he went into Berrywood where he's heading in. If I do this right, I might be able to shoot him right in the back. As he's going in. Where'd he go? I lost him. There he is. He turned around. He probably saw me. This is crazy, it's just like stalking him. The hunt is on, bro. There he is. Dang it, he found me. <laughs> oh gosh, that's too funny. Your car. There's another one now. There's Jacko. What does he have? He's got a nice maple strike there, Jacko. Where's that car? cop car they're totally working together like this is a total alliance right here nice alliance bros 3v1 nice <sighs> gotta find a handsaw but I can't I can't go anywhere cause it's just gonna keep following me Should have left well enough alone and went the other direction because then they might not have found my stuff. Look at him loading up in the car. Well, good thing I got that nade on me. If I can get down here fast enough, I'm going to hide behind this mound. I'm trying to find where they're going. Just by sound alone. I don't want to leave my loot alone. I want to keep an eye on that. Because even though he missed it, they might go back and try to find it again. 
Oh, Jacko has a ma has a maple strike. Great. Three v one with a little peace contract they got. They're all together down there. I'm gonna blow up their car. Nice train you got going on, bros. He's out of the zone right now. I see him. Look at him. He doesn't think I see him up in the tower, but I do. He just got hit. I see you, Carjax. I see you in that tower. He's not making it very, like, like hidden that he's up there. All of Berrywood is a PvP zone. Where's Jacko? Is Jacko in the tower too? I don't think so. Where's his blind spot? Like right here? <laughs> Where the heck is Jacko at? I wonder. Oh gosh, having to account for that many people was painstaking. I will steal this. I'm gonna go find a handsaw. Blood bag, sweet. No one's here. No one's been here? Are you kidding me? Pickaxe, perfect. Gas? Nothing. Get out of the zone. All right. What are the chances of finding a Metamoras in the the uh, boat? Probably not pretty good. That blood bag's huge, though. Really, zombie? You follow me from there? Desperate, bro. Desperate for a kill. <laughs> Desperate zombie. I just don't like the fact that I can't find Jacko or know where he is. Sledge Coyote. Epic. It's a good find. I'm gonna take this to have it. Just in case. Oh, another coyote. I'll take that, actually. Might as well take them both. Space-wise, doing good. Ah, <sighs> juice box. Please. Dang it. Hopefully no one's here. Has it been looted? Or have the zombies respawned? Zombies might have respawned. Oh, <gasps> an Alice! Freaking epic. Nice. Some kind of military weapon, please. Colt. Dang it, man. Dang it. It sucks. We did find an Alice, so that's huge. Let's get the heck out of here. Wow. I'd love to find some armor, though. That's huge, though. That we found the Alice pack. Oh my gosh, my heart was racing just finding that Alice alone. So that means that they haven't looted everywhere. 
Hmm. I can't build anything until I find a handsaw. Might make another chest somewhere else though. Store some of this other, like the backpacks and stuff. I'm just gonna have little caches, like around that area. But not together. Really don't want them to find my stuff. Until I can build a base and actually secure it. Because if I can secure it, I can defend it. If I can build a base, I can defend it. Build a bridge, single bridge, coming to the base. I do like the idea of like, you know, walking or swimming. You know what I could do? I could make foundations out to a dock foundation, build foundations off the dock foundation, and then build the base. So essentially, I can still have a bridge, but it's out in the water, and you have to actually swim to the bridge in order to get up on it, and then I can still have time to shoot at them once I get up on the bridge. They're pretty much defenseless at that point. That's even better than the idea that we had last time. I mean, it wasn't too bad last time, but that's even that's an even better idea. Okay. So we're going to use this to bandage. Oh, I have two of those. Nice. We got eight meat. We got some bonjour clips. Get a fragment and sieve bullets. I got a whole stockpile for stockpile of military bullets. That's good. Only good if they don't find my chest, though. Hopefully, one of them doesn't build back there. The only problem with Berrywood is that the entire town is a PvP zone. Who drops a med kit? These guys are crazy. Dang it, man. I have to go check Charlatan. Not before I make another chest and offload some of this stuff, though. Nice, nice, nice. Nice car to drive out of here at least. Fast way out. Time getting shot at. I'll drive it up on the hill and I'll ditch it so they don't know where I'm going. Let's hope they didn't find my my loot spot here. Let's hope. Oh yeah, I have military images. So say I can barely see anything. This is good. Where's that shot coming from? They're in there. See their police car? I think that's theirs. The only problem with these is that I can't make out colors, so I can't see if they're in the towers. It's definitely in her cop car, though. Why are there a bunch of zombies right here like that? Unless, of course, that's the cop car that was out in front and they moved it. Gosh dang it, stupid crawling zombies. Armed wire. Nice, we'll rig the base again. I think 
think that might be the one that was out in front, to be honest. Like, why? Let's see, is it there? No, that's the one that was out in front. I just gotta make sure, though, you know? Like, I don't want them to know where I am. Ever. I always want to be invisible. Now, the problem is, is that if... On the off chance... They found my chest and got rid of it. And then I'm going to be screwed because I have all this loot, nowhere to put it because I don't have an axe. Okay, I have a pickaxe. Like, who leaves a med kit lying around? Like, that's just crazy. Unless they killed it on the run and, like, just left it there and they didn't realize it dropped. Like, that's just insane. We've got a good stash going. About uh, probably another 10 minutes or so till the next server restart. Like I said, hopefully you guys... I, I might use uh, I might use that time to build. So you guys don't have to bear witness to the building process. I might do that. This will, I think because I, I don't want to play I don't want to record when I'm playing alone because I think it's I think it's boring to you guys although it's been pretty intense so far so you know you guys let me know what you think because I th I think that's I think it's been pretty intense and I th I hope you guys like that because you guys wanted more action and it's been nothing but action since the start of this series for the most part and it's been some slow parts but. Season 2 has been cram pack full of action, in my opinion. 22 stone, I don't need all those, but I'm just going to take them anyway. Because I'm not, you know, there's no reason to not take them, because I'm not, it's not like I'm carrying anything else. You know, of, of, of importance. In the sense of, like, I'm going to go pick something else up. Because nothing else has respawned yet, so... The only thing is, is like I don't like how close those gunshots are. Like I know that I know that that means that can mean that they're pretty far away, but I don't know. Next time I'm not gonna cut down the trees right there. I'm gonna leave those up and come cut these ones down or something, cause that's way too close to my stuff. And like, what other purpose? Unless you construct something, what other purposes are cutting down trees? Unless you're trying to, I guess, diversionary tactic or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. That, you, do you know what I mean? Like, what other purpose would there be to cut down a tree other than building something? There really isn't. So, they could f search for my stuff until they find it, but unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, I think, uh, I think we've been left alone. It looks like that chest is still there. I think we're good. I think we're okay. Yeah, it's still there. Nice. All right. Awesome. That is good to see. So we'll put that in there. And let's see. I'll keep those. I could keep those night vision for somebody else when they finally get on. Eight years later. Okay. Well, let's uh, make another one. Uh, yeah, we'll make one down here, ways. I think. Don't want that out. I need to get some uh, st sticks so I can make a fire. Fortunately, still didn't find a saw, but it's not the end of the world. Once we get this fire up and get some meat, we're golden. We're golden. I can start. I can start building stuff in the next episode off screen. Two. We need two more. Let's not cut down that one or that one. We can probably cut this one down because it wouldn't look like anything was missing, unless somebody's like directly looking over here. It's not gonna look like anything's gone. It's just gonna look like an empty space in the skyline. Can you just give me some sticks. Nice. All right, so now we can make the fire. Nice, we'll just drop those. I don't need those. 
Campfire has been made. Actually, we'll keep uh, we'll keep some of these, four of them, for for another fire, in case we need it. Sweet. That's all you need right there. And now I got some food. I'm set now. So let me gather two of these, and we'll make another chest somewhere. It's more more straight on. You can't really see it from anywhere. Okay, that. Put some of those in there. Um, let's see. Put that in there. Keep those. Put that in there. Put this in here. Okay. I think that's pretty good. We'll go put this other military bullet on this other chest, and then I'm gonna rig up the base and I think that's gonna be it for the episode. The only the only way that they're gonna see that is if they come up from right there, which I mean they might, but I mean who does that? Most people just go to a hill and scout. We're actually gathering like quite the supply here, which is kinda nice. It'll be good to transfer to other chests once we get a base up and running. Kind of sucks I'm going to leave all this log here, but whatever. Oh, okay, here's a zombie. I was like, where's that zombie? Who did that aggro on? All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. As you can see, things are going all right. I'm actually starting to establish myself on the server when the odds are stacked against me, playing by myself. I'm still looking for a key, couple key components, but I'm playing as smart and playing like guerrilla tactics and actually hiding and being very smart about how I'm actually playing the game. And so uh, check back next time as the video is really, really funny. The guys finally join me, but before they join me, something really awesome happens. I actually am playing by myself. Some PvP action ensues. That's really, really awesome awesome and then some hilarious stalking action happens so if you guys like the video make sure to click that thumbs up button below feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel for more unturned content thanks for watching guys and as always stay safe out there